Hi, I'm Auntie Vice with Fat Chicks on Top and Love Letters to a Unicorn, and I'm here to celebrate a good man. His name is Sharon Smith. I met Sharon a little over six years ago at a poetry reading, of all things. I had gone to support a friend, and he was there to perform. I knew there was something special about him, but I couldn't put my finger on it. And a straight, cis man was the last thing on my mind to date at the time. But I chased him down for his phone number and we went out on a date two days later and we've been together for the last six and a half years. He's a good man for lots of reasons. He's a dad, he has two kids, a 16-year-old daughter and a six-year-old son that he would do anything for. He's always there trying to support them, show that he's got their back and he loves them. He has been a great role model for my nephew, who's nine, and whose own dad is tied into too much of the toxic masculinity that we see that boys don't cry, boys aren't artistic, boys don't show emotions. And he's able to see through Sharon that a good man can openly express affection without being overly sexual, that he can embrace the arts, that he can be tender, as well as the same guy he can learn to throw a punch from on our heavy bag and learn to change the oil within his car. So I love him for that. He's been incredibly supportive for me. I was a big learning curve for him. He didn't know too many LGBTQ folks before he met me, and he spent a large part of the first couple years of our relationship learning about the queer community and learning how to support us. And he co-hosts uh, a podcast called Gag on This, and it's a bunch of straight folks talking about various subjects, and he's been able to be a voice of advocacy to support LGBT folks. Uh, he has brought me on to talk about queer community and queer politics. He openly supports the trans community and shows his love. He supports his community in lots of ways. He volunteers uh, at a poetry center in town. He mentors youth. He is just an incredible guy. He's the last person I would have ever thought to date. We wouldn't have matched up on a dating site, but I met him and there was just something about them. And there are good men out there. If you want to find out more about him, he hosts uh, his own poetry podcast called the Iambic Poetry Podcast that you can find on all podcast streaming services. He also runs his own um, audio and DJ business under AsiriusProduction.com, and you can find him under Mr. Resolution on Band Lab with all of his music. So... Keep, keep hope. Uh, you, there are good guys out there. They're great role models for our kids. And they sometimes show up the least times you expect they will.